I'm Tracy, the aquatic educator for the DNR. Today I want to show you how to catch some little critters living in water on your property. Let's look at the equipment you need. Some sort of white bowl or dish or tub, a small net, a white plastic spoon, and even an ice cube tray. So what you want to do is use your net to scoop along the shore of your water. If it's flowing, stick your net so the water flows into your net and disturb the rocks and vegetation to knock all the little dudes into your net. Once you have your net full, make sure you have some water in your tub and then just dump your net in there and start sorting. <laughs> when just holding still, you're not gonna see much. But what if I jiggle the water? Now what do you see? There's definitely stuff in there. Use your spoon to scoop them into your ice cube tray to sort them out. You don't need to know what they are, just sort them by type. Be sure to flip the leaves and jiggle them in the water. Our little friends will like to hide on the leaves and the sticks and the rocks. This is some of the other things we found. These are a tiny seaweed called duckweed. And if you look really closely, you can actually see their roots hanging underneath the water. They float on top and sometimes there'll be many, many, many of them. These guys are called water boatmen. Their cousins that swim upside down are called back swimmers, but also those water striders you see on the top, these are all adult bugs that live in the water their whole lives. These ones are baby damselflies. They only live in the water when they're babies and then they emerge as adults and fly around in the summer, just like dragonflies. Get out and explore the water in your yard. You'll never know what you're gonna find.